Hey guys. So I was talking with a friend of mine the other night about just sort of childhood anecdotes and I realized I got a good, good plenty amount of them so I thought it might be cool to make sort of a childhood anecdote video. I'm gonna call this 10 things from childhood because they're not really stories, they're not really anecdotes either, they're just things. Alright, begin. Begin! Once when I was four, I wore every pair of Disney princess underwear I owned at the same time. Uh, so like seven pairs of underwear all at once because YOLO. Uh, when I was in fourth grade, I sort of had trouble making friends, sort of had trouble making friends for the first eight years of school. But um, in fourth grade specifically, I can remember I used to have this fantasy that myself, like 20 something, would come into the classroom and sort of stick up for me in front of all the kids and then be like, hey, psst, Tessa, shoot girl, I'm you from the future. Don't even worry about it. That's sort of a weird one. Uh, when I was four, my cousin asked me what I wanted to be when I grow up, and I said I wanted to be a butterfly, and she said, you can't be a butterfly. So I said, uh, all right, I'll be a cat. I was Legolas for Halloween in seventh grade, and then I was Galadriel for Halloween in eighth grade. I have seen Lord of the Ring, The Fellowship of the Ring, over 100 times, and I used to be able to quote any scene from memory, not along with the movie, like talk along, but just any scene from memory off the top of my head. I can't do it anymore, I don't think. Nine there were, yet eight there are, set out from Rivendale. Tell me, where is Gandalf? For I much desire to speak with him. He has fallen into shadow. I could probably paraphrase most of the scenes still, but I couldn't do it all from memory anymore. When I was seven, my uncle gave me this big over-the-shoulder uh, straight-to-VHS camcorder, and I used to make short films about my stuffed animals being like superheroes, and about my dog being a superhero, and I had this VHS tape that was like written on it called, it's supposed to say Super Dog, but I couldn't spell very well, so it was Supper Dog. Uh, I told my mom I was doing this video, and I asked if she wanted to contribute any stories, so this final story is from my mom. Take it away, mom. Hi, I'm Mika Mommy. I'm happy to tell a lovely story about Tessa. She was, uh, is just a funny little thing. My favorite little thing in the world, still is. Um, but she was kind of weird. I didn't really know it, but she tells me, Mom, that was weird. Why did you let me wear that cat hat every day to school? I'm like, I don't know, you know, you wanted to. You were in seventh grade. Yeah, she was like in second grade. Um, but one truly weird thing is that she is extremely spatially oriented and she would say, Mom, I want to get some felt. I want some felt. I want to make something. I'm like, okay. So we go and we get her all these different kinds of felt, different colors and a needle and a thread. And it'd be time to go to sleep and she would want to stay up and sew something. And the next morning I wake up and then there's this. Hello, Lisa. And I'm like, How did you do that? Like working away like a weird little elf in a tree to make this exact replica. No pattern, just sewed it. I don't know, that's kind of weird, but it's cute too, huh? Hello, hello. My mom sent that to me in an email and she included a caption that said, by the way, I don't actually think you're weird, honey. Thanks, Ma, but I am. What are some of your weird stories from childhood? Let me know under here. Or don't, whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye!